Hey guys, welcome to my studio. I'm going to show you how I draw my greeting cards and my mini originals. She, she never sees, I'm in the breeze, and I'm blowing past her window as she... Hey, so he, I'm just going to be drawing throughout this video. It's a lot of henna designs. I like to do repetitive patterns. I love, love, love just repeating the same things. In this section, I'm doing four different designs, but I drew a spiral so that they are uh, look like concentric circles when you cut it out. I tried to end the spirals on the quarters, and each quarter of the drawing, I'm doing something different. So you'll see me go through them, and then when I cut it out, it'll make more sense what I'm doing. If I was doing a mini original or an actual drawing, a larger one, I would do all four designs the same. Like it would be one thing instead of four different ones. You can see me laying it out, and that's why I separate it. So this first bit, I'm just drawing patterns. I go back and forth between pencil and Sharpie, and a lot of times I'll use an ink pen, which I didn't today. All right, so now I'm laying out some of my favorite designs that I want to paint a little bit, and I think I will go over with an eraser soon, maybe not. But you can see I'm adding, starting to add watercolor. So I'm doing one section, a little bit of yellow on each one. Uh, sometimes I do one color at a time, sometimes I don't. But you'll see a couple of them, I'm going to be making it a bit of a gradient. So it'll be a gradient from like yellow to orange to red. You can see I'm adding in the darker colors now, putting in the reds. There's the gradient it's talking about. All right, so to make sure I get some variety, I like to take ones from different sets and use similar colors. So you can see that this background, there's one part that's green, one part that's yellow, and some that are reddish pink. And I'm using all red, uh, red, yellow, and orange paints right now. And there's a few that I'll do some green on. Uh, this one ends up being one of my favorites. I love the details that I use, and I love the bright colors. Alright, so I really, I ended up really, really liking these pink ones and the colors that I chose. I did um, little peacocks on the one and then just some colors and shading on the others or shadows and colors on the others. And the reason I'm doing so many is this was an order for 10 that I had and I like to split up the colors that I use. So if you were to order a 10 pack, this is actually two orders, this is an order of 20, but if you were to order 10 of them, I might have I might make four that are pink on pink, so like you can see those three in the middle. I might make three or four that look like that, then I'll only send one or two with that pack because I want to give people a variety. But since they're so small, it makes a lot more sense to make several at a time, just so that I can, it goes a lot quicker and they, I think they turn out a lot nicer too because I'm just in the mood and the mindset and it, it works really well. All right, so now that you can see, I'm kind of switching up my color palette a little bit. I'm using the peacock colors, so the the reds, the bright red, vibrant, purplish color, and then the greens. So as you can tell, I really love those details. I love... Uh, repetitive and super simple just basic things that make really gorgeous designs. I also love bright colors. A lot of my work consists of um, bright colors and detailed patterns so keep watching and you'll be sure to see some of those things. Also if you like what you see do subscribe. I'll be posting an art video or what's in my studio every Tuesday. And then on Thursdays I'm, my goal is to post some sort of blog talking about something art related, maybe something random but also lots of things that are relevant to my art, like travel and culture and the different places and ways that I've learned some of these techniques. So do subscribe for those two videos, and I'll also be posting some extra other things as well throughout the week, but one art video for sure, and then a goal of an art video and a blog every week, so Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, also let me know in the comments what you like. Do you like to make henna designs? Do you like to play with textures and patterns? Which are your favorite pieces of mine? Like I've, I've got a lot of favorites. I really enjoy these bright henna patterns, and I, I love doing what I'm doing. So thanks for watching, you guys. And if you just hold on to the end, I've got a little bit of the slowdown. You'll see some of the pictures of the final cards that I turn these into. I think 
Um, I'll show about five or six card photos, so do keep watching, but I want to say thank you guys so much, and, and do subscribe and thumbs up and all that.